Good morning. Well, I've got all kinds of things going on. The most important one is right here, right now. This is Denise. Welcome to my home. I wonder if we can get through this video without 27 times having to get off for one reason or another, and maybe the table will stay upright, you know. Anyway, we have a Timu haul. Yay! been waiting for this. I'm really excited about this one. I don't know why I'm excited about this one. I guess it's because we haven't done one in a while. Um, for those of you that have just kind of happened on this channel and don't know what Timu is, I'd like to tell you a little bit about Timu. Timu is a online, um, an online product platform, shopping platform. Uh, they've got lots and lots of vendors, lots and lots of suppliers. Um, they provide us with great merchandise at a very, very low price. Uh, the middlemen are cut out so that, you know, we get to reap the benefits of that. They also absorb the shipping. There are lots of different things that Timu has that gives us more opportunities than that. Um, when you go on Timu and you produce an order when when you make that order and you pay for that order there's something called a price adjustment um, that price adjustment will give you deductions for 30 days after you have that order even in your home you know you'll you'll get deductions if the price goes down um, if you're brand new to Timu I want you to take a look at the Right here at the bottom, I'm going to be putting my code, my affiliate code. Um, I want you to write that down so that you'll have it. Then, you know, this is such a really prime time and it's a pivotal time to go in and finish your Christmas shopping. Uh, the last order that I made was two days ago. And they said they, they give you a element of time, a time frame. For which the orders are going to come in and the latest was the 20th so it's getting close uh, but when you go in take a look at the website first um, look and see what it is that you want to purchase then when you're ready to download the app there's a reason why you want to wait when you get in there uh, in my description box there is a link you want to use that link and you want to take the the number that you got off of the screen here and insert that in the search bar. That will make you privy to and eligible for a huge discount. It's 30% off your first order. That's amazing. The prices are already so good. But it'll give you 30% off the first order. And, and, there's a $100 coupon bundle that you can use on subsequent orders. It's just really a great deal. Good way to get started. Um, also, I'd like to, to invite you to subscribe to this channel. It's a wonderful channel. There are lots of wonderful people here. We do, we do fun stuff. We do crazy stuff. We tip over tables and I tip over tables and make a mess of things, but we get through it and it's pretty fun. Overall, you know, when you can look back and say, oh, do you remember this? Do you remember that? And you can laugh. Well, I do a lot of that stuff. Um, I wonder how you all are. It's been a few days. Uh, we did a another haul yesterday of a different product. So I got to see you then. And I was a little bit under the weather. And I want to tell you, thank you so much for your prayers. They absolutely work. I'm so much better today. I slept for about 12 hours. And between the prayers and the sleep, boy, that just kicked it out of my body. I'm good to go. Uh, if you like the content that you see, I would invite you to subscribe. That's also down at the bottom underneath my video, our video. Everything that I do here, I want to make it ours because this is not just my channel. I want it to be our channel. I want you to have 
a say so in some of the things that I do. And there's a community page that, well, I could say a few days ago that I write in it every day. I can't say that anymore. It was three days that I didn't write, but I did write in it this morning. Um, and I'll keep you abreast of things that are going on. Uh, I do enjoy so much your comments. I would ask that take five minutes and make a comment. It, it means the world to me. I enjoy them. Also, uh, there are, there are, um, there's a phone call coming in and it's blocking my screen and I can't see it, but it's not going to cut us off. Um, and it's actually the vet so that my kitties can get spayed. I'll have to call them back after this. It took three months to get my kitties in to get them spayed. I think that's pretty amazing. Whew. Anyhow, um, wow, I really went off on a rabbit trail with that, but the phone call's gone now. Um, if you like the content, subscribe. Check the like box and make a comment. I so enjoy the comments. And you know what? Look at each other's comments. Look at what people are saying and... and you know, it's like, it's amazing. They're loving and sweet and supportive. And with that being said, are you ready for a Timu haul? I think I am. Okay, here we go. First thing out of the bag. Looks like clothes to me. I don't buy clothes, ever. This item, the price on it, <laughs> the first thing out of the bag doesn't have a price on it. Oh, yes, it does. It was $3.08, and it is really less than that now. It's $2.76 now. Guess what it is? This is a beautiful sweatshirt. And you know the benefit in purchasing this, even though it is not pumpkin time, it has pumpkins on it. This sweatshirt has fleece on the inside. It's a real sweatshirt. It's not, you know, it feels like a cotton sweatshirt. It's probably polyester. Let's see what the content is. This one is a navy blue one. Let me see. There's always a tag somewhere that has content. I think I found it. Get my trusty, dusty little magnifying glass. Come on now, tell me what you are. One hundred percent polyester. It amazes me how polyester can turn into so many different things. I got this sweatshirt in an extra large, and I'm a large, an eight ten, and this is a twelve. And I got it large for a reason. These sweatshirts are going to be, you know, I can wear it next year but also you know having something and having items that you can wear just because it's cold maybe you know you don't know what oh i don't want to be a a doomsdayer here this isn't what i'm doing but who knows when the heat might go off or the the lights might go out and and your electronic ignitions don't work i have extra blankets and i have sweatshirts and when you can buy them for this it's ridiculous not to really you know it's it's really a good thing to have to be prepared and again if you go in now 
you'll even get a better deal than I did. And I got it for three oh nine. And they're two dollars and seventy six cents for a sweatshirt. Now where can you get that? Now I did get price adjustments on this order. I think I got about seven dollars in price adjustments. So part of that was for this sweatshirt. Next thing up, 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 is another clothes bag. This item is $2.49, and it's now $5.54. For those of you that haven't been with me long, um, I kind of do some things that... I have, you know how many clothes I've hauled, those that have been around me for a long time. Um... I have two closets. One is for winter clothes, one is for summer clothes. And they're both full. And the reason that they're full is because they're full of Timu clothes. Um, if you go on, you know, what What are you lacking? What? What is it that you want? If you need shirts, if you need pants, if you want dresses, if you want blouses, if you want sweatshirts, whatever you want, Timu carries everything save food and pharmaceuticals. They don't have those kinds of things, but we have access to those here. We're very blessed in this country. <clears throat> Timu gives us an opportunity to get the other things for a lot cheaper. You can get gardening stuff, you can get crafting stuff, you can get children's clothes, you can get shoes, outerwear, underwear, you name it, they have it. Uh, Timu is a place that you should always check before you buy anywhere else. Um, it takes about 10 days to get here. So you need to exercise a little patience. However, they pay the shipping. Um, if there's an issue, they pay for postage back. I didn't mention the... Um, goodness. What am I thinking of? Help me out here. I didn't mention that the um, customer service, that's it, customer service is wonderful. They are wonderful and they will do what they need to do to make things right for you. So don't forget that. They will either refund you without returning the item or you'll return the item and they'll refund you. You can have it refunded to your original um, source of payment your credit card, your debit card, whatever it is that you used, or they'll return it to your credit account, which is available within three minutes. So it's a, it's a no brainer. I mean, you know, buying by catalog is always a situation where you're not sure of what you're getting with any platform. You're not sure of what you're getting, but know that Timu will stand behind whatever they sell you. Uh, this blouse is so pretty. They call it a keyhole. It's a V-neck. It's not low enough that you have to wear a, a camisole. But look at the print on this. Isn't that pretty? It has generous sleeves. There's no elastic in this, and I will... I. I want elastic, so I will put elastic in here. Easy peasy fix. Um, the blouse is long. It's going to go past the private areas that you want to cover. And I do do try on, so we'll put this in the try on pile. And again, that shirt, the blouse was. Um, disappeared it was a couple of dollars oh here it is I was thinking of having a raffle to to give away Timu bags what do you think they're really good bags and I'm kidding you know right but I have about a bazillion of them I would never do that 
That's crazy, crazy. Well, I know there was a price on here. What did I do with it? Oh, here it is. I tried to put it up at the corner. I paid $249 and it's $559. Okay. When I went on that rabbit trail about customer service, I was telling you about how I get my clothes um, inexpensively like I do. Uh, if you go into the search bar and look up, let's say you're looking for a dress and you have something coming up in a month. So look for dresses on clearance. I look for dresses with sleeves because I don't want to wear sleeveless. Um, there's going to be a lot of stuff that comes up that you won't want to even look at, let alone buy because they're bedroom things. But that's the way it starts out with all of it. Uh, and then you will get into your dresses. You find uh, the lowest prices that, that oh, when you bring it up, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you this. Underneath the search bar, when you bring up clearance dresses, there's going to be a prompt that says sort by. And you, you touch that and you want to sort by prices low to high. So the things that come up are going to be the lowest prices. You're going to find dresses that will come up that are going to be, gosh, I've bought dresses under $4. I think the average dress that you're going to find will be in the $4 range. And then they go up from there. So whatever your price range is, you'll find something. Now be sure to, to know that when you put something in your cart, it's going to vary. There are so many different vendors and there's no across the board pricing. Each vendor takes care of their own pricing. So prices are apt to change. You need to stay on top of it so that you can still receive that price. Uh, and with all that being said, it's a really good way to purchase beautiful clothing for much less than even Timu's regular prices. So remember that if you, if you need to back up the video and write it down, do it. Uh, that way, when you go shopping, you'll know exactly what steps to take to get the best price that you can. Okay, let's see what else is going to come out of this bag. Oh, more clothes. This is a blouse and it's very pretty. And I paid $367 for it, and it's $601 now. So I bought it on clearance. And it's a fall winter blouse. I mean, you know, this is what you find on clearance where one vendor will have it and, you know, be fine with just keeping it in stock. Another vendor will have a preponderance of it and they want to get rid of them. So they put them on clearance. This blouse is so pretty. It has lots of different colors. It's got grays and blues and your mustard color and beige. And it's a floral design. And this one does have the gathered sleeves. I really like that because I like to push them up. I wind up getting everything wet otherwise. These sleeves are really generous. I look for this because I have fluffy arms um, and that isn't going away anytime soon. Probably in my resurrected body, my arms won't be fluffy. But for now, that's what they are. And there's the other puffy sleeve. And this is a generous length. It should go down past your hips. But there again, I'm going to do try-ons, so we'll see. I feel like I'm talking really fast. I should slow down. I don't mean to. I think I'm so excited about this haul and being able to feel good enough to do it. Did you get a cup of coffee or a snack or something? Pause me and go get something. There's 50 items in this haul. So we're going to be here for a minute. This is 
an item. It was $3.69 and it's $3.67 now. So it's an item that's on clearance and is pretty much still on clearance with that vendor. Uh, let's see this. This is really a pretty top. It's black. Oh, I didn't tell you the content of that was my cat knocking something down. Um, the content on the last two tops is polyester. It's 100% polyester. That was their food bowl that went on the floor. This top, look at that. Isn't that pretty? It has the lace on the sleeves. And it has the raglan type sleeves. They're very generous. And it's got a little bit of a V-neckline. There's the other sleeve. And the bottom of this is a little bit shorter, I think. But it's still going to be a longer blouse. Can you see this with a pair of white pants or a pair of beige pants or even black and, and high, you know, accent it with a color? It'd be so pretty. The content on this is 95% polyester and 5% spandex. Spandex and elastane, you'll find a, a lot of that in the clothing that Timu produces, or Timu doesn't, but their vendors do. Um, spandex and elastane are the same thing, and they give the products some give. And this one is very generous, and you'll never feel bound up in a product like this. Okay, let's see what we got here. I have two more sweatshirts to show you. This one is different, and it's really cute. Uh, not that the others aren't, but this one isn't uh, season designated. I paid $3.27 for it, and right now it's $9.90, which is still a really good price for a, a sweatshirt. This is the same, this is a black sweatshirt. It's the same as the other one that I showed you as far as construction. It has the fleece on the inside. I don't know that you can see this. Too bad you can't have like feel a vision. It's really soft like a fleece. And it's thick. This will keep you warm. And it has the regular cuffs, just like a any sweatshirt would. Let's see what the content is to make sure that I'm telling you the truth. That it's the same, same. It is 100% polyester. Now you see what's on here? It's really cute. It has a sunflower. What does it say? It says, I don't know. L A H O L D Holiday. I think that's what it says. Doesn't say anything bad. I won't wear something unless I know what it says. So I got to figure out what it says and then I'll tell you. I thought it said, let it be. Maybe that's what it does say. No. 
There's another shirt that said that. Stay. Okay, I'm going to figure it out. Now, this is another pumpkin sweatshirt. And one of them is blue and one of them is black. They're really the same, same. But I'll have my emergency stuff all taken care of now. I suppose you could put appliques over the top of this if you wanted to also. But if you remember, uh, the price on this that I paid was... 308 and they're 276 now. There are lots of different colors. I'm not sure that all of them are on clearance though. Um, I could look it up for you, but my phone is being used. Be sure when you order sweatshirts to get them a size, you know, size up. That way you can layer your clothing. That's what I do anyway. I'm not trying to tell you what to do. Okay, another Timu bag. Oops. Oh, there's something at the bottom of this bag. I don't know if it belongs in here or I think it does. It does. The one Timu bag is empty. It came in two bags. Okay, let's see what we have here. What Timu is doing now, instead of letting things float in the bags, pretty generally, is I'll take the little stuff and put it in one of these bags. So you've got a bag full of stuff, and then you have a bag full of stuff. But I think it protects the, the merchandise better. These are pine needle sprigs, and we'll be using them for crafting for Christmas. I'll show you what they look like. I paid $242 for these and they're $288 now. Remember, you know, even if you don't get stuff in time for your Christmas decor this year, you can buy things and, and do crafting during the year. They're really nice. They're, um, there were 12 of them. You can put these in flower arrangements to enhance the, the foliage. It always looks nicer when you have uh, green things in with the flowers. We used to do that with ferns when I was growing up. That's what my mom used to do, and that's what I thought everybody did. They don't, but you know, it's funny how when you grow up doing something, you kind of think that's the way to do it. They're on a wire, so you can bend them any way you want to. And there's a wire here, so it gives you length. Now the little, the little things don't go anywhere except where they're intended to when they were made. They don't have wire in them. But you can do an awful lot with these. For those of you that watch the haul yesterday, the things that I got yesterday, I'll be using these with that haul. Um, I'm planning to do a, a um, centerpiece. 
And you can put these together. This is just two or three of them. And what I intend to do is I'll have one side like this and then the other side will be the reverse. But you'll be with me when I do it, so be able to see. And there are 12 of these, so you can do lots of fun stuff with 12. So keep that in mind, you know, if you see that, oh gosh, I'm not going to do anything because it won't get here before my Christmas decor. There's always Christmas next year. And we need to plan on stuff like that. I mean, none of us have any guarantees, but for the most part, most of us will be here next year. They're 285 And I really think they're going to go down before Christmas. I think as... as now, I could be wrong, but I think so, that merchandising is such that if I'm sitting on the hearth, on my pillow, but I'm still a mess, um, but merchandising in stores, you know, they have like after Christmas sales and stuff like that. I'm thinking Timu probably does as well. We shall see though, huh? What's up here? Okay. I got two of these, I think. We'll come to it. I bought these little pretend boxes for a couple of reasons. One of which, when I was a little girl, I would have opened every single one of these. And I know my grandkids are going to want to. They're 67 cents and they're 68 cents now. They're not expensive and they're, there are 12 of them. And I wanted to use these in my door wreath. I think it'll be fun. We're going to do a door wreath too, and we need to do that soon. Later today, I'm I'm really, really going to try hard to get the rest of the presents wrapped for Peyton. Get them out of there so that I can get in there with some crafts so we can do a crafting video. Have y'all used the makeup sponges? I had never used a sponge before. And I, you know, they really work well. I bought these two for 89 cents and they're two for 98 cents now. Um, they're really a dense foam. It's almost like, I don't know if it's a memory foam or what it is, but there's this side for blending and then this side I think is really good at getting under your eyes and in those spots that you need to have a tip 89 cents for two and they're 98 cents now watch for sales they happen every single day this item I know it can be used for a lot of things. It's marketed as a, a shoe cleaner. You know, when you have tennis shoes and they're white or different colors and the, the border around it gets messed up because you walk on them. Oh, there's a lid here. This was only 36 cents. And I think I'm showing a dollar twenty now. That doesn't mean you'd have to pay a dollar twenty for this. Watch for sales. It's got a, a nice firm brush. You can put soap in here. There's a, a lid that goes on it. And you can use this for anything at all that you want to. You can do it around the, the crevices on your sink, on your tile. Uh, you can use it for your shoes. You can use it for handbags. You can use it for anything that needs to have a good scrub down. 
and it has a nice little uh, doodad back here that you can hang it up with. So watch for the gadgets when they go on sale. The, the gadgets are really fun. This is a makeup concealer. That's what they say, if I can get it open. I found that I really like Timu makeup. The only thing that I don't use or I won't be using anymore is Timu mascara. Unless I find some, I've tried four different kinds. And I have very sparse eyelashes, and I need something that builds my eyelashes, not just colors them. And for me, they don't work. That doesn't mean they won't work for you. They're still very reasonable. Um, this is a concealer. It's, let me see. It's a number two color. So it's not the ivory, it's the one above it, or the one that's darker than the ivory. What do I have here that I can cover up? I have a freckle. Oh, I should have showed you the freckle before I did it. Here on my hand, there are some freckles. Do you see them? Let me see if how they do. Some concealers work better than others, and we'll just see. Of course, you'd blend it in, but it does cover it. I think there's more makeup in here. I'm gonna smudges everywhere, huh? <clears throat> this is called Full Cover Pop Pop Teat. It's the brand, but if you look up concealers, you're gonna find lots of them. Um. This was a dollar twenty-seven, and it's a dollar seventy-nine now. Very, very inexpensive. And remember, if if you have a product that you don't like, you can always call customer service. What I do is they have a bot that will uh, handle customer service unless you ask for a live agent. I always ask for live. <clears throat> And they give them to me. Now this is a little sign, and they come in different sizes. I paid 98 cents for this, and it's a dollar nine now. My walls are kind of covered. I need to figure out how to hang stuff. I may just hang this under my um. wreath and it says have yourself a merry little christmas for 98 cents it's wood so the idea of having it on the door is good uh it does have the twine that you can stick through the holes to uh hang it and i need to I need to fish these through. I can't get it through right now. It is the like a a jute string, so it comes apart easily. I don't know if you can burn the ends of this, but what I do is I put like super glue on the tips, and that works pretty well. Uh, 
I do have other pictures too. Not on, at this particular time. Okay, these were kind of an interesting thing. I paid um, 34 cents for these and they're $1.78 now. So they were a good buy for what they are. Um, they're little Santa hats. There are 10 of them. I thought they were real and they're cardboard. But they do exactly what they're designed to do. I was just thinking outside the box and thinking what I could do with them. Uh, they go on the cup. They, um, oh goodness, I should have a cup out here, but I don't. Let's see, they have a, a slot and a slot. So you could put them on the cup and put a person's name on it. So if you had people over, I think it would be fun to do this with the little kids too. I think they're probably designed for big kid parties, like grown up parties. But they're little Santa hats that go on a cup and you can put the name on there. There again, it's something that may not be uh, an option for this Christmas, but it would be for next Christmas. I don't know about you, but I have tubs of stuff that I save from year to year. And I do use them, so it's not quite so bad. Let's see here. Uh, something fell on the floor. Okay. All right. How many of you have pets? I would think that a lot of you do. And screen windows. You know, I didn't know this, but they're in Europe, they don't use screens in their windows. Did you know that? This is, but we do. And I think a lot of it has to do with uh, the way they treat their ecosystem. The creatures that eat the bugs are left alone where we don't like spiders and things like that. And that's all right. I mean, I'm not on a platform here. But with that being said, there's a market for screens, and we have screens. Um, I don't declaw my cats. They cut off their toes. It's really nasty. But what I do have here... This is material that you can use to repair a screen. If they get their little claws in there or if your grandchild gets their little mitts with one of their toys and tears the screen. Or you may not even know what happens. I don't know how to open this. Wait a minute, there we go. Oh, now you told me it was open. Okay, this is a roll of sticky screen material that you can use. You peel it off like a double back tape, but it's not double back. This particular part right here is sticky because that's what closed the, the roll. But there's quite a bit on here. That's yard, there's more than a yard. There's probably a couple of yards. So you can mend any tears in your screen. And I'll tell you what, I just had my windows redone. Think about that before you get that done because that's not necessarily the most energy efficient thing I found out. Things like insulation and stuff like that is a lot more important. However, one of the marketing things that they did with me is they said that I had lifetime warranty on repairs. Well, they didn't tell me that there was going to be like a hellacious service call fee. And having things to do your own stuff is a whole lot better than having them come out 
to bring you a screen when you could just repair the one that you have. So this is a dollar eight for this roll. It's a good thing to have. This little guy is a, um, a makeup sponge. And I don't know, I've never used one like this. I don't know, hold on a second, I wanna see what the price is. I paid 89 cents for it and it's $1.38 now. It's the same kind of sponge as the little ones, the, but it's a dauber. And I even thought about this for my stencils. It really has a good, firm head. And you can either use it for makeup or, or your stencils or whatever, whatever you want to. It's got a nice handle. It's long enough to hold on to. Okay, next. Looks like a windmill. I don't know if in your country, if you're not in the United States, if you guys have windmills. We have a lot of windmills in different places. Um, you, write, you go down the road and there are windmills going all the time. And apparently it's a good source of energy. I'm not sure if it's turned out to be what they thought. I'm just not sure. But that's not what this is. This is a little kitchen gadget. It has a sticky to go on. There's a notch on the back here. Well, if I could put it in there, I could use it. There we go. So you peel the protective stuff off of here and you put it, you can put it under your cabinet or you can put it on the wall. The idea is, is this part of the gadget hangs down. You can hang your utensils on it. You could put this in your bathroom and hang stockings on it. You can put it in your bedroom and, and hang um, necklaces, bracelets, that sort of thing. <laughs> In the closet, you could use it for your husband's ties, if he has ties. It's a pretty functional little deal. Did I tell you how much it was? I think I did. I threw the bag away. I paid 70 cents for it. And oh gosh, if I could read my writing, it would be a miracle. I think it's 96 cents, not on sale. But uh, you know, when I see a gadget like this that you can use in so many different ways, it's so worth having. It's so worth making life easier by being able to put things in one spot. I've been pretty impressed with, with Timu stickies too. There's some that work better than others. Um, this one should work okay. And then there are some stickies that they're round and they're colorful. Those work really, really well. I use those to uh, put on the back of my bedroom door for my necklaces. Um, and there's also, I've, I've hauled a lot of these and you've seen them. I don't have any in this haul. Uh, but they're one solid strip and they have 
six, five or six hooks on them. And those stay up really well. Okay, I got two of these little guys. They're 89 cents and they're 97 cents now. And what are they, you ask? Here they are. They're deer. I'll be using this in my scenes. They're metal. I'm sure they're not brass. I mean, I would be really surprised if they were, but they're gold metal, gold colored metal. And they have a little screw on the bottom. There's a screw hole and they, they have a little screw in here. And I do believe that it was designed in mind to mount it. So if I have my scene on a, a thin piece of wood, I can drill a hole in it and mount these so that they won't get lost. But there are two of them and they're really pretty. Oh, did I tell you the price? I think I did. 89 cents and 97 cents is what they are now. Somebody is in something. I can hear them. Hunter, where are you? It's not you. Good boy. He kind of helps himself to whatever he sees and chews it up. He's only, he's 15 months old, so he's still a puppy, sort of. And he's little, he's a Chewini, so I kind of look at him, it's like he'll probably always be the puppy. Now this was $3.99 and it's $3.59 now. And that's probably where some of the price adjustment came in. It is a palette, an eyeshadow palette. I didn't know what a palette was. I think I might have told you this. So I won't tell you again, or maybe I will. I don't know. I didn't know that these were called palettes. And I had no idea they were this expensive. But this is very reasonable. Look at all the colors. I think there are 24 colors. One, two, three, four, five. One, three, four, five. There are 25. Some of them are sparkly, some of them are not. Um, let me see, I'll put some on. I don't know if you'll be able to see the sparkles or not. No. The pigment is decent. And these are all earth tones. And I put like a charcoal and a brown. Can you see it? So they do, and they do come off. But you kind of want it to come off, I guess. I don't know. I don't think I'd want to have waterproof Eyeshadow. And it's called Luck You, Luck Me. And it comes in a nice box. It'd be nice for a gift for any time, not just for Christmas. And again, it was $3. I paid $3.99 and it's $3.59 now. And it may even be less. Okay, these are so pretty. I don't have long hair. And I did have long hair when I was a little girl. But I've never had the abundance of hair that some of my daughters have. Banana clips. 
or alligator clips, as it were. They open up. I bought three of these. They have pearls on them. Aren't they pretty? The three of them are going to be going to um, my daughter Katie and her two little girls. They all have long hair. And it would be nice to be able to pull it back and something so pretty. I paid 77 cents for them and they're eight now. Even off sale, they are just so reasonable. I went over to uh, Dollar Tree the other day and I was looking at hair accessories and gosh, Dollar Tree can't touch what Timu has. They're beautiful. And there are three of those. So two more will come up here. Oh, guess what? I didn't buy nails, did I? <laughs> That's another thing that I have an issue with, I think. And I found that they have children's nails and they're smaller. Uh, I ordered a whole bunch of them for my girls and I think that they'll really like them. They love having nails on with the stickies. I mean, they can't keep them on, but they can have the stickies on their fingers and put those on. These are really festive for the season. I'll be putting them on next, I think. I'll be putting on festive nails. I paid 98 cents for them and They're out of stock now, so that doesn't help you much. But, you know, they have so many. If you forget prices, don't worry about it, because I put them up. I put a picture up on the screen of the product so you can get to it. I had the most trouble getting into this. I didn't really want to get into it, but I didn't know what it was and I had to price it. So not only was this tiny little box in plastic, then under the plastic, the tiny little box was in plastic. And they're tiny, <laughs> so it was hard. This is a lip liner. I've gotten a few of these. I like this color. I've got to get used to using them, I guess. I don't know. It kind of feels like I'm drawing on my face. It's okay, though. I think that lip liners are just really handy to enhance what you already have. You know, if you have lips that are a little narrower... You can draw just right outside the lip line and give yourself a fuller mouth. Why not? It's fun. And they're only 89 cents, and that was what I paid for them. Do you ever go through phases of stuff? I kind of do. Timu came out with well, they probably always had them, but they decided to market them in a way that I could see. And that's rings. This is a silver color. And it has a cross on it. And I bought it in a... I bought it either in a 10 or 11. I can tell by the way it fits what it is. It's a 10. Isn't that pretty? I guess I had to put it on the other way so that when people look at me, the cross is right side up to them. Like that. I paid 98 cents for it, and it's 89 cents now. Gosh, you know, this is so beautiful. I don't leave my jewelry on. And the thing that really gets to the jewelry is moisture. 
and then my body chemistry will eat everything. But they last for a long time. And for what you pay for them, goodness, you could buy another one and still enjoy it if you needed to. But so far, everything that I've gotten has lasted well. Whoops. There are two of them that have colored a little bit, but not so much that I can't wear them. I'm trying to stay on top of this stuff here. There's a lot of little stuff. Just a second. I think that's from the pine things. It is. Trash. I have a trash bag. Yay. I knew you'd be proud of me. Okay. What these are are stays for the carpet. If you have throw rugs, there are a dozen of them in here, I do believe. Let me count them. They're double backed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They're double backed. You take both sides off, put one underneath the edge of your carpet or your rug, your throw rugs. Stick the other one to your floor. They're not going to rustle around like they do. I have a drop foot. Actually, I have two drop feet, but one is pronounced. And invariably, when I walk over a, a throw rug, I ruffle it. And I'm not willing to get rid of my throw rugs. I know that's the first thing anybody wants to do when they come in my house. Like, no, you're not doing that. Um, and I know it's a safety issue. And if you can get something like this to help you, why not? It's not expensive. For 98 cents, you can keep your rugs down for a minute. I didn't mean a minute. You know it'll be a while. This is a spiffy little thing. It's designed and marketed as a clip for your visor in your car. It's really pretty. What kinds of things can you clip in here? You can use it for mail, to clip your mail together. You can use it for all kinds of different things that you would need a clip for. It's very pretty. And there are two sides. Look at, there's this side and there's this side. And what it's designed for, when you put it on the visor like this, you use the back and then it's got the clip here to put things underneath. It's very versatile and it's really pretty. You can use it for lots of different things. And that was Fifty, eighty-five cents, and it's down to fifty-seven cents. I mean, goodness, that's pretty cool. Okay, looking for more. These rings are all sold separately, but they're sold as stackable rings. And they're supposed to be stainless. And there's a rose gold one, a silver one, and a gold one. And they're sold individually for 89 cents. Well, I bought them for 89 cents piece. And right now, $1.59. They were 89 cents each, and that's what they are now, my little loudmouth dogs. So let me show you what. We almost got through. 
me show you what they look like. I don't know that you can really see the the variance in color. They're awfully pretty, aren't they? This is the rose gold one. This is the silver one. And here's the gold one. And you know, nothing is keeping you from, you know, if you prefer just one color over another, you could stack any colors that you want or not stack them. They're very versatile. I think they're really pretty. So if you had 89 cents three times, that's 300 cents, that is 27. So about $3.67, $2.67, you can have a really, really pretty set. Okay, let's see here. I think this is eyebrow stuff. Let me check and see. It's a set of two. I paid 97 and they're 98 now, so that's pretty similar. They're going to keep it a secret. How do they do all of this stuff and still sell it for cheap? I'm sorry, I don't mean to use those terms. How do they sell them inexpensively like they do? I just dropped something on the floor. I don't think it's anything that... They have to have machines that wrap everything. They need to produce the product. And then they get it to us for very little. I can't open this very well. Well, I guess I'm not opening it well at all. This is something like Christmas. But one good thing, if I open one, I don't have to open the other one. It's a number two color, and that would be, I do believe, brown, light brown. Ah, I got it. I got it. Yay. You don't really want to get up here, do you? Oh. This is my avalanche cat. And I would push her down, but she pulls everything down with her when she goes. What do you want? It is the eyebrow pencil. You see it, it has the, come on, come on. If you're gonna come, come on, come on. There you go. I'd like to show it to you where it doesn't have paper hanging all over it. Uh, 
Okay. There was a set of two of these. And they they roll up and down like a, a lipstick does. And this is what I use on my eyebrows. I've tried all kinds of different things. And for me, this is... Oh, I don't want to break it. This has been the best. I think, I, you know, when I've done the makeups and stuff, I've explained to you my... My hands don't work as well as they used to because of spinal cord injuries. And finding things that work for me with the abilities that I have has been an interesting journey. I really like these. So there were two of them in the package. I think I told you the price. Let's see. Again, I threw away the paper. It would have it on there. I think they're like $1.89 or a dollar something. But it'll be on the screen for you. No, that's not it. Okay, well, we'll just pretend. Whoops, what's that? Maybe I got it. Well, that's one of the ring bags. Oh no, that's a little thing that I need to show you. And that could have been a little thing that got thrown away. These little things are sometimes difficult to keep track of. Okay, this is the little thing that was on the floor that I thought was trash. This is... You put this on your keychain and it has a little tiny screwdriver in it for your glasses in case your glasses come apart. I paid 58 cents for it. It's 46 cents now. And look... Look how tiny that is. And it's got a thing for your keychain. On this side, where's my, where is it? There, it's a flathead screwdriver. And on this side, it's a tiny little Phillips head. screwdriver. And this was just a really inexpensive little thing that it's a gadget. It's something it's not a gotta have, but gosh, it's really handy if you can't if you don't have it and you need it, then you have to get a kitchen knife. And if you're not home, it's a pain. Anyhow, it's just a few cents. This is a beautiful Christmas ornament. There again, we're kind of at the cusp of All of us have our trees up now, I've packed. But look at that, isn't that beautiful? And this Christmas ornament was 97 cents and it's discontinued. So, and when it's discontinued, it's discontinued with that particular vendor. I'll look and see if I can find one elsewhere If this is something that you'd like to get. It comes with a little cord.
and you can tie the cord and then have it, you know, just dangle. They are being so naughty. I know they're into something. I have no idea what they're into. Okay. This is a repurchase. My daughter expressed the that she really liked this set. So I bought it for her. It's earrings I paid a dollar thirty four and they're a dollar twenty now, a dollar seventy. And they have um I was going to go ahead and give her what I had, although I really like them, um, but I couldn't find one of the earrings. Now I found the earrings, so I'll be able to have a set and she'll have a set. What does it look like? What are you doing down there? These are the ones that kind of look like copper. They have it kind of looks like burnished copper that's been out in the weather. Hi. My daughter called twice and I was worried about something being wrong but she's fine um this is the necklace it's a really pretty set and i think she'll enjoy it i know i enjoy mine and they're very reasonable for three pieces you know a dollar and change you can't beat it We still have more. Now these look like they would be small enough for my girls. I'm not sure. I know they're probably going to be too tiny for me. I have bigger nail beds. 48 cents and 81 cents. Let's see what they look like. They don't necessarily show the thumbs when you're buying them. They show the other, are they, they show a tiny thumb and if there's a bigger thumb in here. But I would say that if this, if you have larger nail beds, they won't fit you. These won't fit you. But they may fit my girls. So. It would be nice if there was a way to um, discern a larger nail from a smaller nail. I think the more expensive nails you can. Uh, but that's kind of sad. Here are the other two clippies. We already looked at one. Okay, we're going to have some fun with these. These were $2.18, and they are less now. Let's see. $2.00. And... No, they were $2.98, and they're $1.68 now. These are all little... Um, Christmas little ornament things. They're an inch high and each one of them has well, I shouldn't say that. I'm seeing some that don't. Most of them do. 
They have little holes in them. This one has it right at the top, a tiny little hole. Here's a snowflake that doesn't. They're small, but it'll be fun to decorate these, to paint them or whatever, or to not paint them and put them in a scene. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. But I saw them and I thought, gosh, those would be so fun. There's a Santa. And a snowman. Here's a Christmas tree and they've got holes all through the Christmas tree so you could put beads on there to decorate it. It'd be so fun. There's all kinds of different ones. There's bells and different kinds of snowmen. Uh, snowflakes. What else? Little angels. Stars. There's a hundred pieces. That's a lot. It should really be fun. Well, these nails look kind of small, too. These were 98 cents. I bought them for 98 cents, and they're 97 now. I think part of my problem is, is that I, I buy the cheap ones. These are really cool looking, though. I really like them. They're iridescent. We'll just see. Sometimes I wear part of one set and part of another. And maybe these can be part of a set. It's fun to play with them. I have a lot of nails and I play with them all. Okay, this is an essential, I think, if you have makeup and you like it. I paid 98 for this. It's 89 cents now. It's a spatula. My nose itches. And for that makeup that you just really like a lot, you can get in there and get it all out. The tips, this is silicone. This has a cover, and this is silicone, the little spatula part. So you can scrape the edges and get it out with the spoon. It doesn't have to be makeup either. You know, anything that you have that you need to get out. 98 I paid and it's 89 cents. I think it's an 89 cents well spent. I like to get everything out of the jars that I can. Now these are eyebrow pencils. They're, they're not, they're eyebrow brushes. And I don't use these, but I thought, well, maybe I could try. Um, three of them come in a pack. I paid 78 cents and they are 44 now. Let me show you. There are three and they're sculpted brushes. They're this one has the the wedge they all are wedged brushes, but they're different sizes. I'm sure you could find lots of things to use them for, but eyebrows is what it's designed for. These are kind of a curiosity. I've never seen anything like this before. And they're sticky notes. They're um, 
but they are translucent. You can see through them. Get 50 of them. For 89 cents and they're 71 cents now they're kind of spendy but if you have a project that you really need to see through you know you can put notes on it but you want that versatility to where it's not permanent these are good to have so you can see my finger through it they're There are sticky notes that you can see through. Here's another ring. I know you're probably saying, why would I need a sticky note that I could see through? Well, I can think of one thing in particular that would be really nice is you could use those sticky notes on gifts and put it on there rather than I write on the boxes and then it's on the box forever in case I decide to give it to somebody else. But with a transparent sticky note, then I could take it off and nobody would ever know. I paid 98 cents for this and it's $1.29 now. This is really pretty. Um, I'll take these off. It's another cross ring. It's very tiny. Watch your sizes, because I know I got this in an eight and it doesn't fit. But I can wear it on my little finger. It's really pretty, it has rhinestone cross. That's pretty. It's getting close to the end. Let me see. Oh, Santa earrings. I was thinking about it today before I hauled this order. I need to start wearing Santa earrings or holiday earrings every day. Because otherwise I don't think I'll be able to wear them all. These are really cute. This is a Santa elf or... They're Santa earrings anyway. I don't like gnomes. That kind of looks like it's a gnome. Maybe my daughter would like these. I didn't mean to get these, but they're wooden. They're not the, the leatherette stuff. They're more substantial. And I paid $0.48 cents for them, and they're $0.47 cents now. But these are just itty, tiny, tiny, tiny little earrings. I paid $0.89 cents for them. They're $0.98 cents now. They're so cute. And I guess I just wouldn't have guessed that a wire would be this tiny, but... I probably wouldn't have gotten them had I known they were this small. But they're awfully cute. Let's see if I can get it to. Looks like there's enamel. It's kind of uh, geometric. There's turquoise in it and brown and beige. And there are two. Do 
Can you see that? I hope you can. I think those are the smallest earrings that I have. Here's the other deer that I got. I think I told you I got two. Now these are applicator sponges for eyeshadow and as such. I think there are a dozen of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Maybe there are ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There are twelve. And I paid uh, ninety nine cents, and they're seventy eight now. What a deal, huh? And you know, when the prices come up that they're a lot higher, remember that I had a $6, almost a $7 price adjustment on this order. You see? They have sponge tips at both ends. Those are really handy to have. Okay, now what this is, You see those? I have a faucet in my bathroom that sprays everywhere but down. And it's got stuff in it. And I can't get the, the tip off of it. So when I saw these, I thought, they've got little brushes on there. And they can stick through the holes. And I'd like to be able to clean it. They're 48 cents. And there are several of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you can use them for a few different projects. I will give you an update on my faucet. These are totally frivolous. I thought they were very pretty, though. They're butterflies. And what they are, are um, coasters for the drink, for your drink cups in the car. They fit inside there. They're rubber. And then they have the embossed picture. They're both the same. I gave 96 cents for them and they're $1.40 now. So I had to get them. I don't have any pretties in my car, but I will. And it's totally frivolous, not necessary, I know. Now I think this is the last thing. Whoops, there's one more. Okay, this one is empty. I'm going to save the best for last. This is another ring, and it has a dragonfly on it with a rhinestone. And I paid 99 cents for it, and it's 89 cents now. And this was a size 10. That's really pretty. It's hard to see the dragonfly. Ow. Let's see if I can show it a little better. I don't know. But the stone is a blue stone. 
And that happens to be my birthstone, sapphire. I think it's really pretty. And the last thing I have to show you today is what this season is all about. It's a nativity Christmas ornament. It's beautiful. It's made of resin, the plastic resin. The design is on both sides. And it has a star and in the wreath, you can see Joseph and Mary and baby Jesus. I paid a dollar thirty-four for it, and it's a dollar fourteen now. So it's still available. Well, goodness, this is it. Thank you so much. If you were able to hang through the whole thing, thank you. If you enjoy the content and you haven't subscribed, I would ask you, I would invite you to subscribe. I would invite you to like, and I would invite you to comment. Remember, if you're a new subscriber, remember that all the items will be in my description box on how to go about uh, getting your benefits, the wonderful, wonderful benefits that you'll get as a new um, as a new customer. For existing customers, use those codes too when you when you um, when you order. They will tie your order to our channel to show what we're doing. You at least put my um, affiliate code in the search bar and that will tie you to our channel. There will be exclusive benefits for you also. Uh, not like the newcomer benefits, but there will be some uh, from time to time. So you want to definitely tie into that. Thank you so much for being here. I've enjoyed it very, very much. You all take care, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.